Hello and welcome to this Unity tutorial. It's a beginner's tutorial in C Sharp. What we're going to look at today is setting up a basic for loop. We're not going to get into putting anything into our scene. We're just going to look at a log that shows us a for loop working. So all we need to do for this tutorial is right click in our assets folder, create a new C Sharp file. We're just going to call that a for loop. And then we double click and it will open it up for us in Mono Develop or whatever program you're using. For this one, we're just going to use the void start, so we can just get rid of the update. You can leave it there, it won't make any difference. I'm just moving it to show you the code. And what we've got here is our public class for loop, Mono Behavior, curly brace. So we just want to come on line under, to underneath that and type in int my number equals 5 and then semicolon and this is just creating a simple little variable with an integer and its value is equal to 5. So we're going to come on to our for loop so just underneath the void start inside the curly brace there we're going to start it off with the word for. Simple to start off your for loop. And we're going to create a new variable it's going to be an integer and it's going to be assigned to the letter i. That's going to equal 0. So we're just creating this within our for loop. We end that with a semicolon. The second section, we're going to put in i is less than my number. Follow that with a semicolon. So this section here is just going to do the code while i, which is currently 0, is less than my number, which is 5. And each time we do it, we're going to move i up by 1. So we're going to add 1 to i each loop. So eventually it will hit number 5 and stop. Just underneath there we're going to open our curly bracket, press enter, and we're just going to log this to the console. So let's just go debug.log, open brackets, quote mark, my number is currently space close your quote mark, and then we're going to go plus i, and close our brackets. The i is just referring back up to this variable inside the for there. We'll just press enter one more time and close our curly bracket. And then you just need to save your code, so control s if you're on Windows, command s if you're on Mac, we'll just go up to the file menu and save. Okay, and we'll switch back to Unity. So we're just going to drag the code over and onto the camera, and as you can see, our for loop is just added there. So when we click on play, and let it run, you can see down at the bottom here, it's saying my number is currently 4. If I just click onto that, you'll see the console has logged each of the numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's looped all the way around until it's hit 5, and at that point it stops. Hopefully this has been a useful introduction to for loops. We're certainly going to be using these a lot when we start developing full games. But for now, just a brief introduction for you. Hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.